Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Today I'm going to unbox the Ledger Nano S Plus I just received a couple of days ago from Ledger.com to show you what you get when you order yours. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. And besides that, since the wallet I'm unboxing in this video has been provided to me by Ledger for the purpose of this video, this video is sponsored by Ledger. That said, you might recall one of my recent videos in which I unboxed the Ledger Nano X hardware wallet and the core difference between that hardware wallet and the Nano S Plus we are going to see today is that the Nano X comes with Bluetooth and a built-in battery and as such also can connect to your phone via Bluetooth, while the Ledger Nano S does not include a battery or Bluetooth for that matter and requires a physical connection to work. Considering that the Ledger Nano S Plus is with 79 euro at the time of recording also almost 50% cheaper than Ledger's Nano Nano X hardware wallet should make it an easy decision for you to figure out which one of those two fits your needs best. And since I already covered Ledger's background and the benefit of hardware wallets in my recent video that you can by the way watch by clicking on the card up here, let's go straight ahead and look what's in the box when you order your Ledger Nano S+. Plus. First things first, as always, I need a cutter to get rid of the plastic wrapping that is around the wallet. I'm, yeah, could have done that gentlier, but basically let's get rid of it here. And with that, we already have the wallet itself available to unbox the rest of it. Now, just like with the Nano X, we just have to push the box out. So remove that printed carton that contains the product name and some details and descriptions in multiple languages. And we can lift the hood off the rest of the box to see what's inside. And the first thing we see is trust yourself in silver, with nothing else on it and orange secret recovery sheets. So a small booklet or box that contains a bunch of basically paper wallets. So a way for you to write down your mnemonic phrase so that it doesn't get lost and that you obviously don't have to store it somewhere on your computer or phone. I'm gonna put that aside for now. Besides that, we obviously have the wallet itself. Now, as we can see, it looks very similar on the outside. I'm actually gonna grab the Nano X real quick to show you the comparison. So it looks similar, although the Nano X is a little bit uh, less glossy or reflective. And obviously there's a small size difference as you can notice here. And besides that, if we unfold it, we can also see that the screens are obviously a little bit different. So overall the Nano X, although it's almost twice the price, also in my opinion, at least looks a little bit better. Now let's put that away and let's see what else we have in the box of our Nano S Plus. So the last thing in here, I guess, let's just flip that open, is at the bottom a box with the USB connection wire. So we can open that and basically, yeah, let's see if we can get that out nicely. There we go. So that's the USB type C connection wire to connect the wallet. There is also a piece that allows you to basically then tie it through. Uh, where would you tie that through? Is there a hole, hole for it? Nope. So you probably would tie it around here. So through that big hole here. So you can then attach the wallet to your keychain, for example, as said, the USB charging wire. And besides that, we have some booklets that basically contain the get started guide. So showing you how exactly to set up your wallet in multiple languages. And behind that, last but not least, a few stickers from Ledger that you can put wherever you want. I'm quickly gonna clean up that mess and then you're gonna see me again. And that's it. So considering that I now have both wallets at my disposal and already used the Ledger Nano X for a couple of days, I'll likely also record a comparison showing the pros and cons of both wallets in the near future as well. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our Discord community and discuss Ledger and other cryptocurrency related topics with me and the community there. Thanks for watching, see you in one of my other videos, till then, bye bye.